AM Sketch. Hey everyone, how's it going? You are watching AM Sketch. I wanted to go over uh, storyboarding and sort of uh, composition, shot choices, uh, creating scenes. And I have a little uh, Western scene in my mind right now of sort of a gunslinging cowboy. And so I think I'm going to use that as our sample here. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is decide what kind of shot we're going to do. So uh, what I want to do is kind of like a high noon shot, something like this, that has, um, you know, uh, desert plains, high plains, cactus, mesas, and a gunslinger, something like that. Okay. So I just want to show you how I start off with doing this. And, and kind of the trick that I want to show you is um, what, how to quickly thumbnail this stuff out to get ideas. So this is sort of layout and composition or storyboards. It could be for stories comics or animation, it really just uh, depends on what you're working on. But um, what I'm going to do is rapidly develop some ideas for how I want this composition to work. And um, the reason that I do it rapidly and purposefully with a super loose brush like this is because the last thing that I want to do is lock myself in this early. I don't want to lock myself down to like facial expressions and eyelash you know, positions and stuff like that, but which is, I think, you know, it's an easy mistake to make to get too concentrated on details. What I want to do is think about, you know, kind of like, what's, what's this feel like? What's the pose? Again, I'm going for kind of that high noon tombstone kind of look. So I'm not worried about anatomy and proportions and stuff like that so much. What I'm worried about is composition. So what I tend to do is I use a really loose drawing style and I use a very loose brush. Um, this is just a brush that I made. I call it the scumble brush and uh, I'll link it down in the description. You can as, can have this if you want it. Um, but the idea is to be as chunky and as loose as possible. So actually I like this kind of brush. See, it has fuzzy edges. It, it can go a little bit darker and it's messy. And that's what I want. I want it to be as messy as possible because uh, again, I don't want to lock myself down. So I just want to kind of throw in some things. Some of this stuff isn't even stuff that is like, I don't know what it is. This could be a mountain or, or a plant or something, but I just want it for the composition, right? And I'll do more episodes on composition, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so here's my trick. Go select all, right? Then you go to edit, copy, special, copy merged, okay? And you can do the hotkeys for that instead if you want. Um, and then when you paste that, right? Paste it, and then what you get is you get this whole layer, including the background color with that, right? So now what I can do very easily is I can grab my transform tool and just transform this guy down. And now you see I have a little thumbnail, okay? So that's my little trick. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. All right, so I'm gonna keep creating these thumbnails and just to make it easy, I'm gonna kind of fly around here and put some different colors. So the colors don't, matter they're just to help me differentiate okay so we'll delete that one yes make a new one boom okay so it's the same idea so here's idea one all right he's kind of close to the camera so let's do another idea we had this one from earlier that's not a bad idea so let's take this one again if you just go to select all copy special copy merge which is just shift control c shift command c if you're on a mac then you just go paste and shrink that guy down. I'm not trying to be too too exact. I just want to have a bunch of thumbnails. Okay. I'm just gonna. So I have that one. I have this one. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay. And then let's just make a new layer. Change the color again. Okay. So I'm just doing this rapidly. It's all about speed. So let's see. We got the high noon thing. So let's put them. Put them here. So here's our guy. Keep it loose. Let's put the horizon high in this one and almost a little bit at an angle okay so let's there's some mesa here so i like brushes uh for this stuff that again like can go a little bit light to dark so i can build up some shades the background might be really you know silhouetted against like a noonday sun one of those like oh that's not a noonday sun obviously because that would be up here okay well let's <laughs> let's do a morning sun or like a sunset sun sunset showdown that could work and then he's gonna, you know, he's gonna, maybe he's drawing, he's in the act of drawing. So he's gonna draw from his hip and he's got his arm out, kind of ready to go. And maybe he's got 
You know, he's got his hips out wide like a gunslinger. All right. So there. So the all I'm trying to do is give myself enough information to um, to tell myself whether this is going to work. So, for instance, the hat right here is right on the horizon line, which is not good. You know, I want him to be either above that or below that. So I can already stop, think about stuff like that. So I can, you know, I can even erase some of this and think about putting him down into a lower pose so his hat doesn't ruin my composition. So that kind of thing. So he's like crouching and then we can have some rock stuff out here. We can have maybe, what, what are we gonna have in the foreground? Maybe it's the hips of the opponent, right? Like really big in the foreground. He's here and he's got his hand on his gun, right? Like that. And then he's got his hand here. Okay, so again, I'll come back in and clean this up and make it roll. Um, maybe his arm's got to be like there. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'll, I'll clean this up and make it all beautiful and add the anatomy and stuff like that at a later point. But this is an idea generation technique. And uh, so you want to go fast. You don't know if it's the best idea if you spend an hour on it. Um, It'll be better if you spend, you know, 20 or 30 seconds like I'm doing with these ones. And then when you compare them, then you'll, you'll know. So we'll put, uh, we'll put a cactus in there. We can have a cactus. But, uh, so let's grab that one again. Okay. And then copy and then paste. And then, all right, once you hotkey this a few times, you'll just have it in your head. Okay. So let's do one more and then we'll take a look at what we have. So again, I don't need this one anymore. So I'll delete that, add another frame, and let's change our color again. Something in here. Uh, uh, something kind of red. Okay. So let's see. What do we want to do? So let's put the horizon low this time. And let's uh, almost like do like a fisheye thing like that. That's cool. Okay. And then we have our mesas in here. Okay. And then we're going to have our gunslinger here. So now we're low on the ground which means we're looking up at him, which means he's gonna be doing this kind of perspective thing, right? Like his legs are coming out and, you know, we get the giant leg thing and then he's got his, you know, his hand on the gun or maybe he's waiting. So he's got his fingers up and he's, I don't know, how's his hand gonna go? Like that. He's gonna kind of get the gun or does he already have the gun out? See, this is stuff I can play with pretty easily. He's like ready to pull. Maybe he'll be like that. There we go. Ready to pull. Finger on the trigger, not quite, but ready to get in there. And I'm just thinking about this in terms of silhouette, and that's why these scumble brushes are so useful. So let's see what kind of hat. There we go. We're under him, so there you go. And then I can see that, you know, I want to put some stuff in here, so let's put put like a mesa thing there, one here going up our fisheye, sort of accentuate that. You can have his shadows being casted, and that'll be a nice little element to add. There, there we go. And then in the foreground, and right in the foreground, we can have like a rock, um, or maybe even better, let's have, let's bring in that cactus back. Let's bring that cactus back. So let's have this cactus in the foreground like that. There we go. And then a limb on the cactus, something like that. Okay, cool. And then you can see, because of this brush, I'm just shading it darker, darkening it up to make it look like it's in the foreground. And I'll show you another technique. Um, <clears throat> this is probably the quickest, honestly, is just grab one brush and go. But, um, you know, the next technique in the layout is once you pick the thumbnail that's the best, then you develop that thumbnail, obviously, a little bit more than this. So now I can think, you know, do I want the sun to be kind of glowing out from behind him? That looks pretty good because that it describes these shadows, right? The sun. Maybe let's move it over to where it looks like it would cast these shadows. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our sun casting the shadows, and that's creating this, this look. And then, you know, not a cloud in the sky. Maybe another mountain, though. And <clears throat> there. So that's pretty good. So let's do our same thing. Copy. Merged. Paste, transform, and what do we've got? What do we have? We've got our thumbnail. All right, so let's turn this off. 
and then we'll put this back to something neutral and then here's our thumbnails so let's take a look at what we have got this one this one this one and this one okay so the colors are kind of not important what's important is honestly just one thing which is which one do we like right so looking at these um i can see that they all kind of have merit um this one is like up close and personal you know this one gives this guy a lot of power because we're looking down from below so he's like towering over us <clears throat> this one's kind of cool this is like a face off straight on one and this one gives sort of power to the opponent because uh, he's in the foreground he's higher in the frame he's like bold and dark so basically you know if you were doing a story or a comic you would think like well what kind of feeling do i want you know people to have when they're looking at this do they should it be like this guy's so strong and you should feel that or should it just be like a showdown kind of thing right so anyway um you can see that when you quickly thumbnail something um uh and you'll see like when i train when i scale these down and stuff i didn't care about exact sizes or exact ratios even at this stage um it's so easy to get caught up in stuff even you're doing a storyboard and you're like worrying about like the exact tv ratio or whatever um i think that's uh too early um and uh it should be about the idea first and the basic composition and then from here we'll pick one of these i think probably this one but uh we'll pick one of these and then we'll tighten it up into a better composition in the next video and then we'll go from there into developing it into uh, uh, more of an illustration okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that again uh, i'll put this brush down below um if you guys are interested in using that go ahead and do that um and you can scumble along with me anyway hope you enjoyed that talk to you guys later cheers that's good